Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Ma not Mass Effect 3. Uh <laughs> I'm awake. I was just about to say Mass Effect 3. Shit. It's been a long time since I've um been on this game for now. Um wait, for now? What the fuck does that mean? Anyway, we're at the end of the game pretty much. So let's get it done. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. The Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Oh, really? The departure. New York City. What's wrong with him? Huh. Mental problems again. I had a hangover. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. There's your sunglasses, dude. Ugh. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. You are a vampire in the sun. Here's your painkillers, you bloody vampire. Yep, you drug addict. Fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Now where's my wife? There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Uh-huh. One of my books. Uh, I'd listen to the message, but it's obviously not important. Nothing. Food, coffee, coffee, coffee. Can I switch on the... No, I can't. Fuck. Oh, look at those shadows. Watch. Zoom. 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 Boom. Yeah, I have to have the shadows on the on these settings though, unfortunately. And again. The game was patched recently. Again. Let's see. Come on, the frame rate. Bearable? It is. It's bearable. Good. Alright, it seems we can have them on medium here at the very least. If the shadows weren't being drawn by the CPU, everything would be great. Here we are. You have one new message. Really? Well, are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show! Huh. Now, I can agree with him on one thing. She shouldn't, you know... She probably isn't doing his career great by trying to run his life, but... I a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. Well, I mean, like, TV. Anyway, um... What was I saying? Oh, but yeah, she is his wife, and she has every right to worry about him, now. So, here we are. We'll go and check our television. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Gallet Show! Douche! Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. That's not Dr. Colvin, dude. Best-selling author Alan Wake about his new book, The Sudden Stop. 
Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Wait, Coffee. I've been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. What's more, do the face for a Sam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? I should have followed her advice, but suddenly I was angry. Mostly a What the fuck? Why skip? Huh? What? But? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. That's great. That's a nice scene. But yeah, Sam Lake uh, cameo in his own game, essentially. He was Max Payne and the first Max Payne. Somehow, He's the head developer. The key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. Awesome. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Crap. That's not Let's nice. Over. Close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. We're all alone. It was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. 
about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. To hell? Okay. Well, at least we don't feel quite so alone in this world anymore. There are actually other people driving around these days. Oof. We'll see what our frame rate's like outside. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It's okay. It's hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. You know, product placement kind of annoys me, Verizon. I mean, why? But hey, could be worse. We'll probably get attacked for going inside here, but I want to see if there's coffee or something. And I know I'm being really stupid, I should actually drive in here. We're almost there now, we may as well keep going. I'm really dumb like this. Seems like there is nothing and there's a thing blocking our path. But hey, never mind. We'll keep going. We'll head back out. Shit! That's not what I meant to do. We only have two of those left. Motherfucker. Shouldn't have done that. I wonder if my anti aliasing is even on at all. The FXAA is on. You know, I'm not even going to bother to stop and check because it'll just be more of your time wasted, everybody. Buckle up, it's the law. Since when have we been obeying the law? We're running around with a gun loaded. But anyway, let's get going. And speaking of the law, we'll drive on the left. Because we're a rebel. I'm a rebel! Energizer! It just keeps going and going and... Or was it Duracell? I can't remember which. Coffee or anything around? Well, I found some stuff anyway. Have a look around and see absolutely nothing. It does seem like the game performance is slightly better than it was before, you know. The frame rate does drop now and then, so I might be able to change the settings later if it gets a little too shitty. Maybe do that off screen as to not waste your time. And though I'm wasting your time right now by going here. Because I'm looking for stuff. I knew there'd be something. All right, let's go. Shit. Fuck. We 
we got more stuff. Nothing around behind there or anything. Fine, we'll just get going. Oops. Oops. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, we're off to a great start. Silly me. Really silly me. Gotta do that again now. Mayonnaise. No, it says majestic, but you know. Alright, here we are. Head down there now. That was safe. Totally not dangerous at all. Ah, uh, here we are. Oops. At least now I'm not being stupid. Kinda. There's no coffee there or anything, yeah. Shit. Don't want to spin the camera around. There's a house there. Should I go and check? Or is it a house? I can go inside, so let's check it. And again, maybe I can't. Coffee! We found something at least. Nothing else around there. It's a very weird way to sprint with the rifle. I mean, look. Just flail it around. Huh. Am I supposed to go this way? No, that would lead to death. Then I'm supposed to go this way, is that it? I mean, I already went down there and it was a dead end. And I only got a checkpoint when I was over here before. I realize that what I'm doing is retarded. So I can only really apologize for that. Which I know is completely worthless. Uh, let's see if crashing the car helps. I guess not. Okay, yeah, we we were supposed to just run on through. If I had a brain, I would have figured that out. Ow! Oh my God! You're your wife. Really? Why? What's she ever done to you?
Get out of my way, dudes. Ow. Ow. Stop being douches. Stop being a douche. Come on, dude. Missed. And you said you'll kill my wife, but why exactly? That's a good question. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Ooh. That's why it gave us a torch. A flashlight, if you will. Because I, I have no idea. Oh look! This is our car. From the start of the game. Yeah! At least I think so. Looks like it. This is my car. I'm trying to get to the lighthouse for some desperate reason. I know not why. Maybe it's because I'm awesome, I don't know. Pwned. Majestic. May as well check on the inside. Yeah, the frame rate is going right down every now and then. Unfortunate, unfortunate this game still hasn't fixed shadows very well. Now my frame rate is at a constant 40. From 25. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Oh, number two? I found coffee. Right next to the number two. Uh Let's have a look around. What's with all the photographs? It's creepy. That's Barry. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Huh. Interesting. Why does he have flashbangs? He didn't know what he was going to use them for. Look at yourself, man, you okay. Me, pal. Can't get inside any of those. That's right, you guys can chase me in that direction, I'll go in this one. Have fun, guys. Hmm. No loud music and no pets. One vehicle per unit. La 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 la. Ah, my head is itching like Rick. Mm, it's like a tingling itch, not a not a stabby kind of itch. It's just a uh, an annoying one. Sorry, dude, but you can't have me. I'm already married. And I forgot to get the contents of that red box. So I'm looking over here for coffee. And there isn't any. We're okay then. No, I want to do a stunt there. So I'd rather go back. Plus I want that stuff. Hey. 
Anyway, that stuff over there. I'm starving right now. Is it bad that Alan Wake always makes me hungry? Anyway, let's go! Go! Oh, friggin' hell, Alan. Let's just go this way then. Let's get going. Shiza. 